My name is Dr. Adam Strauss from Westwood Mansfield Pediatric Associates, and I'm here today to talk to you about concussions and their prognosis. As always, this video is intended only for patients of Westwood Mansfield Pediatric Associates. If your child should attend a different pediatric practice, please talk to his or her provider, as they may have different opinions about the management and prognosis of concussions. Following a concussion, the expectation is that an individual has complete and full neurologic recovery, provided that enough time is given for that brain to recover before it gets injured again. How much time is needed for that recovery is dependent on many different variables, including the individual's own genetic makeup. There are some children, however, who fall into predictable high-risk groups for requiring more time to recover. One such risk group is younger children. The younger you are when you suffer a head injury, the more time is required to recover from that injury. As all of our patients at Westwood Pediatrics fall into the pediatric age range, it's important to note that there is still a difference between the 11, 12, 13 year old child and the 17, 18, 19 year old young adult. The younger the child, the more the risk. Additionally, any individual with pre-existing neurologic disease, whether it be migraines or headache disorders, learning style differences or ADHD, or even depression and anxiety, all of these may indeed increase the recovery time needed following a concussion. Some people go so far as to suggest that a family history of migraines or, or neurologic disease is enough to put someone at increased risk and to treat them more conservatively. A different, more controversial high-risk group is girls. Um, this is still being worked out in the scientific literature, but there's a feeling among many researchers that girls have somewhat weaker neck muscles and therefore aren't able to stabilize their heads as well when they receive a blow, and that this leads them towards more severe cushion, concussions and therefore more recovery time. More research is being done, and it'll be interesting to see in the next couple of years what emerges. Ultimately, it is impossible to predict at the time of the injury just how long the symptoms are going to last or how severe the concussion is. This can't be done prospectively. It's only once the symptoms are better that we can look back and say, this looks like a mild concussion or this was more severe concussion. Once given enough time to recover, the expectation is that the individual's risk for future concussion is the same as had the concussion never occurred. One bad prognostic sign is the individual who gets more and more severe concussions with lighter and lighter injuries. The child who has already suffered two concussions and gets a glancing blow to the head and has symptoms lasting for three weeks without it appearing to be a severe injury that's a concerning sign. Bad symptoms with a mild injury suggest the brain that's having a hard time healing. The child who had one concussion two years ago who had a bad injury today and had relatively mild symptoms shouldn't be at increase for recurrent concussions. This suggests he or she is healing well. As always, it is the provider and in conjunction with school trainers and team trainers who helps make the determination as to when someone is better. For more information on the basics of concussions or returning to play guidelines, please review some of our other videos. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to contact us. Please keep yourself safe, wear your helmet. If you get injured, stop playing and, and give us a call. Thank you.